Hey guys, this video is just a quick update about my test results from my second coronavirus test. The test results came back negative. I kind of knew that already since I didn't have any symptoms, but I wanted to be sure because we're going out of country in a couple of weeks. And in order to get back in the States, you have to have a negative coronavirus test. I can specifically remember when I first started the symptoms because we were out of town in Chicago. The first night in Chicago, we had just cheeseburgers. My cheeseburger had some pickles on it with like some jalapeno sauce, but the smell was 10 times sour than what a pickle and jalapeno should smell like. And I remember the next day we went out to breakfast and I had hash browns with my breakfast and I dipped my hash brown in some ketchup and the ketchup smells so sour, kind of like the cheeseburger smell. So I was so turned off, I didn't even eat my hash browns, just like I didn't eat my burger the night before. And things that normally don't smell sour were starting to smell sour to me, but I didn't think nothing of it actually at all. On our way back home from Chicago, I got a little personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut and I could not taste it at all. I'm sitting there chewing and I'm like, I can't taste this. So I drank some lemonade and I'm like, I can't taste this lemonade. I'm like, babe, can you taste your food? Is, is this pizza plain or am I tripping? And he's like, yo, you got coronavirus. Those were the symptoms that made me realize that I had coronavirus. So the next day when we got home from Chicago, I went and I got tested. And then a few days later, it came back positive. And in the meantime, I was without taste and smell for like six or seven days. I can't remember exactly how many days, but it was like six or seven days that I could not smell, I could not taste. And I really didn't mind not being able to smell, but just in general, not being able to taste your food, it was so sad. Not having a sense of taste and not having a sense of smell were my only symptoms for real. I didn't have a bad cough, surprisingly, because I have asthma. I'm thankful that I didn't have trouble breathing. And even though I'm pregnant, I really wasn't too worried about the baby because coronavirus, from what I know, at least it attacks your respiratory system, not my womb that the baby is carried in. I've had an ultrasound since I got the coronavirus and my baby is healthy, so that's great. That's my update on having the coronavirus while pregnant. That's all I have for now, until next time.